your local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Happy Wednesday to you. The weather's been nice and calm here at home the past several days, but not so much as you head into parts of the plains where they had close to 100 reports of severe weather, most of which in the form of hail. That same storm system now not exactly severe, but producing some heavy rain in parts of Missouri. And you see the clouds feeding off of that and occasional showers as far east as Indiana. So we'll keep an eye on the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms, especially as we head into this evening. Here's 5 p.m. today. Notice we're dry but the clouds are starting to move in from west to east this afternoon. This is after 8 or 9 p.m. and there you see some scattered showers moving in from west to east. Could have a few rumbles of thunder here and there as we head into the overnight hours. But heading into early tomorrow morning, you'll start to notice that any scattered thunderstorms are especially going to be south of US 460 with sort of a mix of clouds and sunshine for the rest of the area. Best chance for any kind of strong to severe thunderstorms is mostly going to stay on the north North Carolina side of things heading into tomorrow afternoon. So for today, we're still quite warm. High temperatures across much of the area, 80 to 85 degrees with some showers and storms at night. By tomorrow, the chance for scattered storms again is going to be farther to the south. Hence, temperatures only 75 to 80 in the New River Valley, but everywhere else between about 84 and 87 degrees. But it's a battle between the heat miser and the snow miser. Check this out. Snow and quite a bit of it along the Rocky Mountains but we're on the opposite side of the spectrum where the jet stream is farther to the north. So that allows some big time heat to move into the area both Friday and Saturday afternoons. In fact, I'm talking high temperatures about 90 to 95 for everywhere outside of the mountains. So this is by far the hottest weather that we've seen so far in 2022. In fact, it's the hottest weather that we've seen since late August of last year. So all the things you would typically do in the middle of the summertime, drinking water, seeking shade, Make sure you're doing that as we head later into the week. Roanoke Valley extended forecast 80s today and tomorrow with the chance for showers and storms tonight into early tomorrow morning. That chance is also low, but not necessarily zero Friday and Saturday afternoons. High temperatures low to mid 90s. The chance for storms going up Sunday along a front that eventually is going to bring us some relief from the heat early next week. High temperatures low to mid 70s. Lynchburg area 80s today and tomorrow. Again, you could see a few showers after about 10 p.m. tonight, but then you're back in the 90s. Your record 96 Friday will be awfully close to that. Middle topper 80 Sunday with scattered storms late in the day. Still some showers early next week. The difference being it'll be much cooler with high temperatures in the low to mid 70s Monday and Tuesday.